Bike Tower Fest is coming up in Daytona, Florida in about a month. And I've got to get in shape because this is actually one of the tops that I'm going to be wearing. So I got to lose some pounds and I've got to tighten up because yeah, you kind of get the picture. <laughs> um, here's another one I'm going to be wearing. Teeny tiny! So I decided this time that I'm not going to do the Lemonade Cleanse again um, since I just did it recently and it is so hard to do. I really struggle with it. You guys know how I struggle with it. So this time I'm going to be juicing instead. Now I did some juicing about three weeks ago for about five days. Um, I juiced during the day and I had big salads at night and it was really good. I mean I was so full all the time on the juice and I was able to eat the salads at night so I enjoyed chewing food and eating unlike the lemonade cleanse. So to get in shape for Bike Tower Fest, here's what I've done. I went ahead and bought a really nice juicer. This happens to be Cuisinart. There are a ton of them out there. Um, but this happens to be a really, really good quality one. And I went ahead and bought a 25 pound bag of organic carrots from Whole Foods. And for the rest of this, I went to the, our local farmer's market and got, as you can see, a case of tomatoes, lemons, limes, cucumbers, celery, plums, uh, zucchinis, squashes, and things like that. Because all of this is really good to juice through your juicer. Now, I can tell you that all of this will be gone in less than a week, in a few days. Mike and I are both doing this, and this will go very, very quickly. And we'll be going back to the farmer's market to load up again, probably in a few days. Now, Mike does like to sneak out every once in a while and go get a hamburger, but he does support me, and he does do the juicing as well, and he actually loves it also. He actually likes more fruit in his, and I like more of the vegetables in mine. Now, there are all kinds of recipes out there for making juice and you're going to kind of have to just start doing it and tasting different juices to see what you like best and we also actually like to use beets in our juice it really tastes great I just didn't, didn't actually have any today on hand but I've actually come up with a kind of juice that I prefer four carrots a cucumber a tomato a pear and I also have a lemon and a lime in this one it is really really delicious now for the lemon and lime I do cut off just the little tiny ends and I peel just the uh, yellow part off because it's really bitter so I, that's the only reason I do that otherwise it would just go right through the juicer no problem go ahead and turn this on is 24 ounces of juice now this may this is quite a bit of juice for that amount of fruits and vegetables so I personally like to pour this over ice and drink it so let's try it look at that isn't that beautiful all that great carrot juice I always use lots of carrots for the base of whatever juice that I'm making I love this juice this is so good y'all if you have never juiced before you really want to try it it makes you feel so good it helps detoxify you you get so many nutrients in your body Mike and I actually saw a video called fat sick and nearly dead that documentary really got us back into juicing and if you haven't seen it yourself I would recommend to go watch it and you'll see why it'll make you start wanting to do this as well now this is an awesome juicer they come you know you can spend hundreds of dollars or not very much and everything in between the squeezing art is pretty good I do put a bag into the container that catches the pulp 
for one it's easy cleanup and the other thing is I actually save the pulp I go ahead and just put it right in the freezer in this bag because in the future I'm going to be making pulp crackers in my solar oven so you'll have to check out those videos in the future if you've been thinking about getting into juicing and you do need a juicer I will put a link in the description box below so it's real easy for you to shop online